must save her. My daughter. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here. Back again playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, we have Wolf Link here joined by Cookie. Hey Cookie, what are you doing over here? <laughs> Cookie, what are you doing Cookie? You don't look... <laughs> what are you doing Cookie? <laughs> oh man, well you keep holding that pose. So, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue our adventure by completing EX Champion Rivali's song. And to do that, we have to head to Divine Beast Va Mado and fight within our own mind. I know it sounds crazy, but if you saw the last couple episodes, you know what I'm talking about. So let's just go ahead and teleport up to the Divine Beast and uh, get this party started. I'm excited to do this. <laughs> so long story short, um, I pretty much recorded this episode once already. And then at the end, I checked the recording and the audio was just terrible, just absolutely terrible. And um, so I was like, it's no problem. I'll just re-record it again. And uh, yeah, I just ran into a ton of problems, but eventually I figured everything out and uh, the audio should be good from now on. But yeah, um, <laughs> my previous save was like three episodes ago. So I had to go do basically episode 92 and 93 all over again just to get to this point, <laughs> which was like a lot of shrines. It's actually like six shrines. Anyways, we're here, and now I'm going to do episode 94 again, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully all the issues are fixed. In exchange for Mado's emblems, I'll be granted the chance to prove myself worthy. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Basically, he's saying the same exact things that he told us when we went and fought the Fire Blight Ganon. Literally word for word. The cool part about these fights is that it's in our mind. It's our memory, I guess. And it also forces us to use certain equipment and limits us on what we have in our inventory. So that's the cool part. Um, let's see what we start with. But before we do that, we have a little bit of a cutscene to watch. So, sorry if it's hard to see anything, but this is just how it looks inside my brain, apparently, in our memory. <laughs> this illusionary one was created from the depths of your memories. My memories are a little foggy, but, I mean, hey, so are everyone's, I feel like. This is battle as a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. And, uh, to emerge victorious... I take it I gotta kill this guy. <laughs> I'm actually really hyped to receive the upgraded Rivali's Gale. After beating this guy, our Rivali's Gale will recharge much faster. And it's arguably the most useful power up. Wind Blight Ganon. All right, so let's see what we got. I got a feathered edge sword, three different bows. One is good for like sniping. One has dual shot. And then this one just does the most damage. And it also shoots faster in aerial combat. Then I have a hundred arrows, five bomb arrows. I'm using the snow quilt set and I have barely any food, just enough for three hearts. That's it. All right, cool. Let's, let's do this. I'm actually looking for... There it is. 
We're gonna snipe him right in the face. Right in his eyeball. We have all these arrows, we might as well use them. Feathered Edge does pretty good against him. Keep in mind though, I have Urbosa's Fury as well. But I think he's out of range. Let's use that next time. Too easy, buddy. Feel this. I can't use it in the next phase, so I might as well use it here. Pretty sure I can't anyway. Either way. Get that damage done. The next phase, he summons these little drone boys, which really don't do a whole lot. Especially because we're still going to shoot him right in the face. We'll use our bomb arrows to blow up the drones. Dude, his head went all the way back. Actually. Alright, I wanted to use my bomb arrows, but we didn't really have a chance there. That's okay. Whoa, calm down there. Come fall, like, somewhere a little bit closer, please. Alright, you know what? Let's duplex bomb arrow. Let's use our sniping bow this time. Since he seems to be going really far. Okay, this time he went super close. Here's his sniping bow, see what I mean? Oh, he's not fully there yet. He like warped right away. Much easier to do this fight in the air, I will say. Go, Link, go! Where is he? Bro, uh, he fell off the map, are you kidding me? Jump, Link! Jump like your life depended on it! What? My bullet time stopped. Oh, this is fun now. What? I have no bullet time when I'm using the duplex bow? Oh no, I have no more arrows. Wow. I was like, that's crazy. Apparently if you don't have any arrows, you just don't get bullet time. He was healing a lot of damage too. That sucks. Oh well. We'll still get him. Let's hit him with our feathered edge. Nope. Gosh. I, I gotta make sure he's not regenerating too much health. We gotta shoot him really fast to so stop that. There we go. Good thing I have a lot of arrows. Oh, he landed right on that. There we go, there we go. All right, now let's hit him really fast. <laughs> when he landed right on that pillar, like that should have broke his back. No regenerating. Let's get this boss battle over with. I want the power. I want Rivali's Gale upgraded. And you dead. Come on. Back off, you little drone boy. I killed a drone boy without even trying. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boom. We did it. That took a lot longer than expected. Mostly because of the regenerating and just, I don't know, man. It just took forever. Die. Just take the L.
gone? Or was he ever even there? Because remember, this whole thing was in my mind. And again, Cass is right there <laughs> waiting for us to tell us about his song that he continues to work on, trying to fill in the gaps that his old master somehow forgot to complete the songs. All of them, apparently. Mm. It's truly inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That's why I felt inclined to roost here. Sure, bro. You you inclined to roost wherever I am. Let's just be real. You following me. Recall Meadow's champion of flight. Before he fell to his fateful plight. Revali's feet was a wonder to see. So, the princess made her plea cutscene now look at that armor on the horse and Zelda is looking stylish as well beautiful uh, outfits look at this scrub All those feathers he lost. Keep that up and you're going to be a bald bird. <laughs> What's the matter, Rivali? Can't handle it? Not enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. I like his green eyes. The only thing you I know, like about him. Highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. Oh yeah, who you were talking to? My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all. It will be my great we pleasure. We don't need you. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! We would just like your help. We could definitely do it without. Like, if you joined us, you would be the least, most insignificant piece. However, every piece is important. Oh look, you actually can fly like a bird. <laughs> Isn't that what you guys are supposed to be good at? Like, flying? Took him like 20 minutes to see the targets. No, I would have seen them instantly. Took him five minutes to line up the shot. Hey, I bet he finally actually hit them. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Why didn't you do that I against I play the <laughs> wind blight, <part> Ganon? <laughs> you play the, the biggest part with the darkness sealing sword, correct? <laughs> well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, oh don't come crying to my me. goodness. After seeing you in action, I feel like we don't even need you, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Mm. We all love Rivali, right? Yeah. So what do I think of Rivali's song? It was terrible. He's full of himself and he's not even the best. He's just jealous of me. By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of champion Rivali, his feelings were not hidden at all. I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Who, who was your teacher anyway? I feel much more confident than I can do. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's just, Cass, I, honestly. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, 
Rivali's gale should be more efficient than ever. Thanks. Now go away. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. Nobody asked you. You couldn't even best one of Ganon's goons, the Windblight Ganon. You couldn't even you couldn't even get the the, the mid tier boss, bro. You died straight up. Anyways. Rivali's Gale upgraded, guys. Amazing. Amazing! Alright, so let's look at our quest log. Uh, we're gonna continue the Champion's Ballad. We have two more places to go. We have the Desert area, Grudo Desert, and we also have the uh, Zora's Domain area. So I'm gonna actually do the Desert area first, which is over here. So let's just warp to Divine Beast Van Aboris and start the next part of this adventure should be fun. In fact, I know it's fun because I've already recorded this once before. <laughs> and it is very fun. We're going to do uh, at least one of the trials. We'll see how fast we go. If we can go kind of fast, maybe we'll do two. I don't know. We'll see. Divine Beast Von Aboris. Ah, beautiful as always. All right, we're not wearing the right gear. You know what I mean? We got to dress for the occasion. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so if we just walk around Naboris, we should be able to get to the location. Wow, one ruby under there. Too bad you can't go back inside of it. It like teleports you away if you try. <laughs> Not that I've tried or anything. Just heard. Ooh, look at this. Let's check this out. Again, beautiful game. Look as far as you can. I mean, it's just amazing. All right. Um, I know that we got to put this on the end of one of these. I don't remember. Is it here? All right, maybe not. I think there's two that need it. If you count the rocks from the middle, each arm has 10. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this one only has nine. So let's drop it right here. Okay. And then this one, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, not this one. Not this one. How about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one has ten. This must be this one then. Let's drop it up here. No? Was it this one? Am I just not putting it like in the right spot? Bro. Alright, let me let me count. Let me count the one up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one has ten as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They all do. Am I going crazy? I know for sure that one didn't. I'm pretty sure it's this one. But it's not working. Are you kidding me? I did this so easily the first time I did this. <laughs> there it is. Apparently, I can't count. You are terrible. You were just messing with me, weren't you? For that... I take your picture. That way I can remember what you look like when I come to kill you later. Just kidding. Unless. Alright, so there it is. Way over there. Wow. Alright, let's just... Actually, we have Rivali Scale Plus. Let's use it. This is going to be a long fly.
I guess we already got that one. I was like, oh cool, Korok puzzle. Let's go do that real quick, but nah. All right, so I'm not sure. If you're not sure if the guardian is alive or not, because that one's not even moving. Easy way to tell is stasis. See what I mean? He's definitely alive. Let's uh, go ahead and summon a friend, shall we? Good boy. Let's give him something to eat. You want that meat? No? You don't want the meat. Ah, oh, it's gotta be gourmet, I bet. You want the gourmet, don't you, boy? I knew it, look. He didn't want the prime. It wasn't good enough, he had to have the gourmet. Now he'll do more damage, I think. All right, let's take out this guardian, shall we? Master Sword is glowing, another way to tell. Look how sweet it looks. All right, all right, we all know you're actually not dead. Ooh, that one hurt, didn't it? Get him, Wolf Link. He's still moving. Ooh, that was close. Good boy. <laughs> now you're dead, aren't you? We cannot let him shoot. I didn't want him to shoot Wolf Link and blow him up, you know what I mean? Stasis worked perfectly. I was also trying to flip him over, but that didn't work. All right, that was pretty easy. Cookie can't come, huh? She's just too busy. Well, Wolf Link, it's just me and you. Ooh, never mind, it's not. You want some cooked meat? Yeah, you go get the last one. There's only one alpha on this rock. He's just running from Wolf Link. I don't blame him. I mean, Wolf Link is a beast. Ooh, too slow. Good boy. Good boy, Wolf Link. Oh, I'm being lazy. I should have saved that for this next rock. Oh, well. All right, we're very close. Oh, there's a guardian down there, guys. Look at him walking around. When I was a noob, like, I used to be so scared of those things. But now they're just a joke to us, right? And I can hear Cass. Somehow he beat us here. I mean, he is a bird. It makes sense. I couldn't warp here. Even when we warp, though, he still beat us somehow. But... These rush rooms are useful for upgrading the climbing gear, by the way. Ooh, look at all that ore. Sheesh. Wolf Link can get up here, but Cookie? Nah. I applaud your courage in coming here. So basically you're going to say the exact same thing that you said every single time I do this. You would think like if it's a mystical god or something, they would change up what they're saying because they know they're talking to me. They know, Well, I guess from a game developer standpoint, you're like, hey, but they don't know how much time has passed since you did the last challenge. It could have been days, months, years. Who knows? Maybe you did all the other challenges like quests in the game and then you came back. I don't know, man, but... I kind of wish that they would just change it up just a little bit to be a little bit more like, I don't know, show that we've made progress. Mm -hmm. This stone monument has survived for 10,000 years. How do you know that, Cass? What secrets does it hold? Actually, uh, the secrets are pretty obvious. They literally have pictures of the map, like right on the map. Oh. Let me guess, it's your teacher's unfinished song, Cass. We know. I just saw you 10 minutes ago. 
We were talking about it. <laughs> no, he wants to sing it again. Lightning King of the Desert. Naboris Champion, the Stalwart. Naboris is pretty awesome. So is Herbosa. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, fight the brute of the sand. Two, chase rings upon the land. That's the one we're going to do right after this. Three, throw the orb underground. Champion trials abound. All right. Epic. Epic cast. It moved me so deeply that I just want to do these challenges oh. so fast. So I really have to go. I can't talk to you anymore. Sorry. <laughs> He's saying the Gerudo chief uh, will give us more information if we need it. I'm grateful I was able to visit Gerudo Town, even though I had to, well, leave my comfort zone a bit. Wait, what? You dressed as a woman too, Cass? I see you, Cass. I see you. Let's take a look at where we got to go. So that one is... Got to be right here, right? The, the uh, Yiga Clan hideout. So let's just put a red... That looks like it. And then this one is just to the northwest of that, which is Gerudo Town. Which is, there it is, there it is. So we're, we're looking like somewhere around here. And then this one. Uh, this one's easy because you can see the labyrinth. It's just right below the labyrinth, which is like right here. So this one, hey, look, I got a skull there already because I already know I fought a Molduga there earlier. So we're going to fight Molduga. We're going to do the Yiga Clan hideout to throw the orb underground, and we're going to race. So first, let's do the race. The race is kind of like the shield surfing, only this time we're in the desert, and we have help because we're being pulled by an epic sand seal. I wonder if I can summon Wolf Link and he'll chase me while I'm racing. Let's let's uh, let's test that. Will Wolf Link spawn with me, or am I gonna have to summon him again? Looks like I gotta summon him again. Actually, while we're here, let's equip our sand boots, shall we? Gerudo Artisans modified these boots for life in the desert. The special soles distribute your body weight evenly so you can maintain your normal movement on sand. They look cool and they make me much faster here. All right, Wolf Link. This place and this cactus <laughs> actually reminds me of uh, where Zamor is in uh, Skyward Sword right now. He's at the Lanayru Mining Facility. Uh, yeah. Except in that game, when you hit a cactus, it, it bounces back and hits you. <laughs> but in this one, you just uh, can cut it down, which I, I think I like better, <laughs> to be honest. Is that a chest? No, it's a sign. Notice how fast Revali's scale recharged? Pretty dang fast. Fang and bone open only at night? Really? I did not know that. Interesting. Good to know. All right, well, there's the start of the race. Let's see if Wolf Link will, uh, will come with us. Savak. Savak. Freli asked me to re go recruit some wild sand seals. Mm. The sand seals in town are all trained by Freli. They're faster, and they'll wait for you to return for them. By comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off the moment you dismount. It's definitely worth renting a trained one. Freli puts her heart into training them. So basically, she's submitting them to her will. That's like kind of like animal abuse. Feli trained the sand seals used in the sand seal races, too. Oh. Sand seal races are Gerudo tradition. It's pretty simple. You use a sand seal to race around the course who's fastest. Just go to the southeast gate. Uh, I think I've already done that. This is not what we're doing. We're going to actually do something else. Ooh, that one is beautiful. 
That's my sand seal, so you'd better stay back. I won't be held responsible if Riley gets upset. Oh, come on, I want to use the best the best one. Well, in that case... Option number two. <laughs> Works every time, baby. Oh, and we're doing this race at sunset. This is epic. Let's go, guys. No! Wolf Link, you're messing me up. We gotta restart because of you. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I look back to see if Wolf Link was coming. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go for real. No! No! Not like this! Wolf Link, you are messing me up so much. Although I messed up because I kept looking for Wolf Link and then it really messed up my camera and it like started turning my surf seal around. But other than that, it was fine. Wolf Link kept teleporting and re-teleporting and trying to keep up, but he couldn't. But I'm gonna need his help because it looks like there's a bunch of lizard boys right here. Actually, bow and arrow is not good on these guys because if you shoot their horns, they actually will make a huge shockwave. Wolf Link, you distract the other one and I'll kill this one. This bow shoots so slow. Oh my goodness, he called for skeleton reinforcements. Apparently the shock doesn't hurt Wolfling. That's cool. Wolfling, are you shock resistant? That's crazy. Ooh, I do want his bow. Oh no, we don't even. I want these key swings. The lightning ones are so hard to find. Yes, we need these for upgrades. All right, now let's go do the shrine. <laughs> Dang, the race was uh, just part of the challenge. Then after the race, you have to fight all those dudes. All right, let's do the shrine. I'm taking damage because I'm in the cold now that we're at night in the desert. But let's get inside the shrine, then we won't be taking damage anymore. And uh, after we finish this shrine, which shouldn't take too long, uh, then we will be probably have to finish the episode because I'm already at 30 minutes here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. This I've already done this once, so I kind of should be fast at it. Dual purpose. All right, guys, this is going to be a pro walkthrough, all right? You don't do that because that'll shock you to death. You're going to just move this one right on over. Voila. And then now you're going to move it over. Easy. Part one complete. Now part two. 
This part's a little tricky, but you're gonna wanna push this away. Pull it back. Now we don't have the electricity. Now we're gonna bring it back. But we don't want the electricity right here at the moment, so let's actually move that and that away from the source. Now we can get over here. And now we can move this back to get electricity. However, that will actually, yeah, we don't actually want to do that. Let's disconnect for a second. Zoop. Now reconnect. Wait. I disconnected and the door still stayed open? Okay, well, whatever. Part three. This is the tricky part, because if you want the chest, it's actually back here. And you gotta get power to this door. Now, one way to do that is... Actually, there is only one way, it's like, Let's go ahead and move this over. Just a little bit, though. Move that. Now we can climb. Now, let's electrify that door. I don't even remember what's in the chest, so I'm kind of uh, excited. We do have to move this one all the way over. That's definitely a requirement. And let's just move this one. And this one. And this one. Oh, we're not. We, we got the door, but the wrong door. There we go. Look at all that electricity. All right, what we get? Hopefully something good. Ooh, that is really good actually. And I needed another bow. And I'm gonna actually use that. Thank you. Better than I actually expected. All right, we are gonna die again if I keep that electricity. So let's just do this. Then all we gotta do is move that one block back. Actually, we're gonna have to move two, but that's okay. Let's move this one back. And let's move this one back. Oh, I see. Ow. Oh, I almost died here. We need we need to rearrange this whole thing now that we got that chest. Okay, so that one does need to stay there. Okay. We should be good now. Jump Link! Think I can make this jump? Easy, I probably didn't even need my glider. All right, we do have to go up here. Now, we want the last one that we have to move to be, like, this one. So, let's put the... Oh, boy. Let's put the electricity back on. And then let's move this one back. Bingo! Wow. Even though I'd already done that once earlier today, it was still a little bit, like, tricky. It's one of those puzzles that's really easy, but the more you think about it, make you can like overthink it and make it hard. You know what I mean? But we got it. Naboris emblem, number one of three. So we have two more Naboris emblems, emblems to get, and then we will be done with the three challenges, which will unlock uh, the ability to fight. Mm, I, th I don't remember what it is. We did. It's not water blight. We did wind fire blight. Uh, it's, it's, is it wind? No, 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 it's, uh, lightning. I don't remember what the Ganon Blight is, but there's definitely a Blight to be unblighted. Okay, that sounds terrible, but yeah, we're gonna kill it. <laughs> um, you know what would be cool if I didn't freeze at night? Also, you know what's cool is, like I said, this place... Reminds me of Lanayru Desert, which in Skyward Sword is the first chronologically in the Zelda timeline. So that's like thousands of years before this or hundreds of years. I don't know, but I wonder if it was the same desert in like ages past. I mean, it looks way different, but 
You never know. Is that literally a chest right there? Okay. Uh, actually, I do want to keep the sand boots on. Sand boots, but warm clothes. Okay, let's grab the chest. 300. I'll take it. All right, guys. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video, <laughs> especially because I had to record it twice. <laughs> if only uh, you could repay me by liking it twice, but you cannot. You can only like it once, so please like it at least the once if you made it this far. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is Lucian Sword. I look forward to the next episode. Take it easy, friends.